How's it going? You may have seen my previous video about mounting a DJI Air unit on the Inspire. Um, I actually opened it up, ran power from the inside, and then I uh, had, had posted another quick video just updating that I found a much simpler way because, of course, the Air unit runs on uh, straight off a of 4S battery. Um, so all you have to do actually is put a little BT2 connector on your air unit, which is super easy to do. I realized while I was taking this back apart that I had originally made the pigtail for my air unit backwards. Well, I've sort of standardized my rig so that this end, the female end of the BT2.0 connectors, is always on the camera. That way my battery leads, so my battery leads always have the male end. So yeah, that's nice and standardized. And then um, I, have, uh, I have some little adapters for little 4S batteries, XT30 to BT2S, or BT2.0, sorry. And, um, and then the air unit goes under here, under, you know, under the bird. And also, uh, there's a longer cable that you can get. It's actually a Cadex Vista cable, but it works for the air unit. So you can, you can order that. I'll, um, I'll put that link in the description. And you just open this thing up. It's not that hard to do. Just replace that cable. This, um, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits well enough. And I think uh, I'll probably just put a little silicone around that just you know, in case it ever gets a little moisture. But anyway, this, this buys you a lot of extra length for running this thing. And then, because my newer Inspire has the, uh, the safety cable, you can see, I hope that's focusing, yeah, has the, the safety cable to uh, the gimbal retainer cable. Now this is perfect because these little screw holes actually are ideal for holding this air unit module underneath. So I've redesigned, this was my old one which I just zip tied in place. So I've redesigned this to be like this. And what you got there is those, those kind of C cl clamp bits actually go like this. So let's see if that's focusing. You can see where that sits. And then the screws are going to go, screws are going to go through those holes, and then I'm going to put a little Velcro on top of these so that it's really held firmly in place, but pretty easy to remove. And the great thing is that this whole rig goes in my ready-to-fly case, just like it is. So I'm going to put that together now, and um, you can... You can see how it looks. So what I'm going to do is make some little Velcro spots for this. I, I like to put, for this kind of stuff, I'm putting both sides in there. Now um, I'm going to dry fit this before I open up the sticker. On the drone. It's going to work great. When this goes in, you got to make sure you put the antenna portion in the correct spot. I have them so looking at these angles here, the antennas go that way. So that's the way. That angles the antenna off of the off of the bird. That snaps into place nicely. Something I've found for these antennas is that. at least the way it was before. 
a little tricky to get them in a little tricky to get them into these holes uh, so the thing to do as, as is so often the case with TPU heat gun I'll just do it on low this heat gun on high will quickly liquefy this TPU it's good for cleaning up edges and um, Kind of solidifying your model too. You just have to be careful with it. You can really bind the layers together by giving it a nice pass with the heat gun, but you have to be careful how much you do. It's also a nice way to get your parts fitting really properly. Um, you now, if you have a GoPro mount or mount like this that's a little bit tight on your part, see now that just pops right in. You can always heat it up a little bit, yeah, bam, and then put your part in place and then let it cool. Actually, I got that tip from Neil over at Catalyst. Good tip. All right, antennas in place. Now this, what you want to do is put those in place. Before, put those in place before you bring this all the way back. Bring it back. Pop them in. There we go. There we go. And um, it's a pretty good fit here. I have, depending on the antennas and the air unit, I sometimes have had problems with these antennas wanting to pop out. So I did design this so that they're pretty well held in place. But if you have any question about that at all, you could easily just run a zip tie around here, you know, that kind of clamps it down. I think these are pretty solid though. And you can see there. Hopefully that's focusing. It, uh, these are channeled so that they really hold those antennas out about a 45 degree angle. Now, again, just carefully dry fitting everything. I'll do that one more time. Yeah, so this is this is good. Now this is. It's going to be up off of there. It's in a good position. It's going to work with my screws. So, I'll tell you, with, with those screws in place, you probably honestly don't even need the Velcro. I'm tempted to not even stick the Velcro right now because once I have this thing screwed in, it's not going anywhere. It's not like there's a ton of pressure. It's not, it's not a heavy part. Yeah, I think for now I'm just going to skip the Velcro. I got those in place so it's kind of padding it out, which the design really calls for because I left room for it. Um, now this, these little cable bits go right on top here. And the way this is set up, there's a small gap under here, so that screw sits just like you would want it to. Alright? So the easiest way to set this up is to go ahead, put your screw through the strap all the way to the top. Pop your screw into that hole and seat it. There. Then just stretch those out. Let me start with one. Hopefully you can see that. I'm kind of driving it home, guiding it home. <laughs> a little at a time. 
There we go. Yeah, now we have the best of both worlds. My previous design didn't make room for the strap. And it also kind of, because I had the, the shorter camera cable, it required being a little closer here. Uh, so it's really key that you get the longer camera cable. You really gotta have that. And like I said, there, there's Velcro here, but this just isn't gonna go anywhere. Now it's screwed in place. I think the Velcro part was overkill. But if you want to overkill it, now you've got that. Um, and either way, it's good to put the Velcro in here because uh, I designed it with about a two millimeter uh, extra space there for the Velcro, maybe three millimeters. Um, so you'll see that. But yeah, I think, I think that's, that's gonna be really solid. As you can see, the angle of the antennas is really nice. It sticks down at 45. It's out of the way of uh, all the sensors. And then you just Velcro a battery, use a smaller, smallish battery and a uh, battery strap and put that on your arm there. You can use a pretty small, like a 700 milliamp 4S. And, you know, the Inspire is a big, strong quad. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make a, a weight difference on this thing. I hope this helps some of you guys to, to get your Inspire 2 set up with uh, DJI FPV even easier now. It's super simple. And um, I'll post the, these designs on Thingiverse. Please like and subscribe if you're digging these videos. Hit the little bell so you get notified when I put out a new one. And uh, I'll see you out there flying.